Hello, Elijah here. In this video, we're going to be talking about linting and formatting in NeoVim using the LazyVim configuration. So, let's go. All right, I'll go into the LazyVim config to the lazy.lua file, and I'll uncomment the three built-in plugins for TypeScript, JSON, and the mini animate plugin. Then I'll unindent the code a little bit, and when I save the document, it formats itself. Nice. So, why is that? Well, LazyVim wires up several formatters by default for Lua, Shell, Bash, and Fish. All right, so let's go into a next.js project, and then we'll see our new plugins installing. And then I'll open the index.tsx file with Telescope. And we can see that the TypeScript LSP is installing. And I'll paste a tiny bit of code in here. And since the TypeScript LSP was just installed, it didn't attach itself to this buffer, so I'll refresh the buffer with colon E. And now we can see some linting information. We could confirm that the TypeScript LSP was installed by looking at Mason with leader CM. And there it is. And you can verify that TypeScript is attached to the buffer by running the colon LSP info command. And there are two clients attached to this buffer, null ls and ts server, which is TypeScript. All right, let's switch gears and add ESLint support to our setup. We'll go back into the LazyVim config, lazy.lua file, and create a new entry for linting.eslint. And save our file. And I'll head back over to the app and restart NeoVim. And I'll open up a recent file with leader fr for find recent. And open the index.tsx file again. And you'll see that Mason is installing the ESLint LSP. Even after refreshing the buffer, there is nothing visibly different. But we could verify that the buffer has the LSP attached by typing the LSP info command. And sure enough, there are three clients attached, one of which is ESLint. The reason this works is because the LazyVim extra plugin registers the ESLint LSP and auto runs ESLint fix all on save. So to see this working, let's add some new ESLint rules to test it out. We'll open up the Neo tree with leader E and press capital H to reveal the hidden files and open up the ESLint RC JSON file. You might notice that the file doesn't look like valid JSON, but it is valid. It's just concealed. So let's unconceal it with leader UC. And now I'll surround the string with an array and then add ESLint colon recommended as an entry. Then I'll save and it'll auto format. Now I'll switch back to the index.tsx file and I'll reset the buffer. And now we see a new diagnostic error about the debugger statement. If we switch back to the ESLint rc.json file and change recommended to all, then save and switch buffers and refresh the buffer, then whoa, that is a lot of errors. The reason is that TypeScript is formatting our file, and ESLint's all rules include layout and formatting rules. So if you want to use Prettier to be your formatter, which we'll eventually do, then it's suggested to install the ESLint config Prettier module that turns off all the rules that are unnecessary or might conflict with Prettier. And then we'll add Prettier to our extends array, save, switch, and refresh. And okay, that's better. It's not screaming at me anymore. Okay, but how do I navigate these warnings and errors and fix them? Well, I'll tell you, but first, please consider booping the like button if you found this video helpful. Oh, and maybe consider joining the Byte Club YouTube membership. It includes various perks that you might find interesting, and it helps the channel. So thanks. Okay, so back to navigating diagnostic errors and warnings. Well, there are several ways. First of all, the NeoTree panel will show error indicators next to folders and files that contain problems. You can navigate to next or previous diagnostic errors with right square bracket D and left square bracket D. If you want to see all the errors for a file type, leader XX will launch the trouble plugin and you can navigate up and down the list. Another approach is typing leader SD to open telescope and see diagnostic errors for the buffer or leader S capital D for the whole workspace. You could also use leader CD to see code diagnostics for a specific line, which you could have many messages. 
If you type leaders CD again, it'll jump into the errors that are displayed. And if you want to disable all diagnostics, then you could type leader UD. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, we'll turn it back on again. All right, let's start fixing some of these problems. You could use leader CA for code action on one of the errors to fix them. Here, we'll go ahead and disable the debugger statement error. You can also use leader C capital A to launch source actions, for example, fixing all fixable issues. However, as I showed earlier, that's done when you save a file. And while I'm at it, I'll remove the function parameters and invoke the test function to remove some more errors. Okay, now I'll mess up the formatting by unindenting and adding some extra spaces. When I save, it formats the document, but it's using TypeScript for this which is nice, but Prettier has more extensive formatting. For example, saving this JSX, header and H1, doesn't format to multi-lines like Prettier would. So let's switch back to the LazyVim config and add a new entry with formatting.prettier. Then we'll save and switch back to my app, close and restart NeoVim, and we'll reopen the index.tsx file. If we open Mason, you'll see that Prettier D is being installed. The LazyVim Prettier Extra plugin works because it registers Prettier D with Mason and it wires up NullLS as a formatter. I could double check this by running the NullLS info command and see that Prettier D is an active source. And now if we save, the buffer will be formatted with Prettier and you can see the JSX is now formatted. And I'm just going to ignore this max lines per function rule while I'm at it. Okay. Let's say that you want to tweak the prettier settings. Well, you can make your own config file, and I'll use npx prettier init to help me generate one. I'll modify the single quote rule and say I want single quotes instead of double quotes and use JSON for the format. Then I'll exit and show the hidden files and open the prettier rc JSON file that was just created. And I'll go back and save the index.tsx file and now the double quotes will be changed with single quotes. Prettier actually formats much more than just TypeScript. It can format JSX, JSON, Vue, CSS, less, styled components, YAML, Markdown, and much more. To demonstrate, let's update the README Markdown file. This might look like a weird Markdown file, but let's unconceal with leader UC, and then I'll delete line 5 and paste in some unformatted Markdown. The numbers are out of order, the table isn't lined up, and the fence code is unformatted as well. But when I save, Prettier fixes all these problems, which is actually pretty cool. If you, for some reason, want to turn off formatting on save, then you can press leader UF, and you can turn it back on in the same way. So let's talk about formatting and linting about other things other than LazyVim pre-built plugins. The null ls repo has a huge list of sources that you could leverage. I'm going to focus on a few linters for writing, proslint, for example. I'll switch back over to the LazyVim config and create a new file in the plugins folder called writing.lua. In this file, I'll paste some new config that registers proslint, writegood, and alex with Mason and sets up these with nullls for diagnostics and code actions. And then I'll save, switch back over to my app, restart NeoVim, and check Mason to see that our linters are installing. And now I'll open up the README Markdown file, and at the bottom I'll paste in a sentence. And you'll see a bunch of diagnostic errors show up. Pressing the leader XX will show numerous tips. For example, the sentence I just pasted shows that so adds no meaning, simple can weaken meaning, and much more. Alrighty, thank you for joining me in this video about linting and formatting in NeoVim. I have several other videos in this series lined up, such as Git workflows, terminal integration, custom snippets, debugging, and more. Until then, keep learning.